All right, I'm no genius at this kind of software, but <laughs> I found something. I think it was in another tutorial video, but it's just like browsing random LMMS videos, and some guy was explaining it in German. Uh, my understanding of Deutsch is like sehr klein, but <laughs> my Augus in und Ohren verstehen, I think. So my ears and eyes, I think that's how you say the words, understand what's going on. So, basically, the guy I was showing was how to use the peak controller, so I'm explaining it in English. And you take, here I'll show you. Playing this, see how this FX adjuster jumps to the beat. So how do you do that? Well, you take your instruments, I have my bass drum here. What I did is under the instrument FX. You can also do it at the FX channel level, but I find that like if you're just using a particular instrument to drive the controller, just go right at the instrument level. And you click on add effect. And the peak controller is under your effects. It's not under controls, it's under effects. So like right there. But I already have one assigned. It will, however, show up under your controls. But if you try to use the one from the controller rack and you click on this, it says to use the FX controls. So if you have it under your instrument, oops, where is my instrument? Oh, it's all the way down here. If you have it under your instrument, you go to the FX, you have your peak control, and you got your wet, dry, and your decay and gate. I don't think these work yet. In this version, they don't work yet. But you click on controls, and here comes your control. What you get is the base amount and decay. And to assign your peak controller, I have it controlling the synthesizer here, which is assigned to channel 3, so the default preset is I haven't named them, it's just like a little short demo. But you right click on the slider that controls the volume. So you right click on it, and you connect it controller, and you edit controller. Oh, yeah, and I named the controller base trigger because otherwise just be like controller one or whatever but I named it base trigger because I have the base drum triggering it obviously so that's what I did. So where is it? Controls here. But you can set the base which is like the lowest level. So if you dial up the base, see how the slider moves along with it? That's where it will start out at. The amount controls how far it will push it up and down. When the trigger signal happens, which happens to be the bass drum. So if I play this, how far up and down it goes, that's the amount. If I turn the amount down, it's not going to move from the bass, but if I turn it up. Not only that, but I can also mute the trigger by clicking the mute button. But I believe the one thing is, is if I turn this volume down, There was something I was doing before where it seemed like I controlled the volume I wanted effectively. Maybe that's at the effects level rather than it works a little different. It's supposed to be decay, but it doesn't work yet. But the uh, decay would like slow it down. But that's how it works. It's just, you assign it as a controller, but it works under the effects. I'm just using only the bass drum to trigger it, put it at the instrument level rather than the entire drums, which are under FX. Simple, nothing too complicated, but it works. Maybe they'll have a better way in the future. It works fine for now. And I'll do something else later, but <laughs> just something I came, found, ran into. Saw a tutorial that wasn't in English, and but it explained it well enough. I visually figure out what was going on. And so don't give me the full credit for this if I can remember the guy's name. But he was doing it in German and I'm like, okay. And I was just watching because I said my German isn't so great. But I could watch and learn. And I guess other people that don't speak English can figure it out from watching this. I don't care. <laughs> well have fun and now you know how the peak controller works, or at least you have an idea. There.